So today I wanted to make a video about if Dio Brando was the main villain in part 4 instead of Yoshikage Kira. Anyways, make sure you guys subscribe and click the notification bell so you know right when I upload. I'm going to be trying to upload every other day this week because I'm going to have to have time to record. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Dio Brando is one of my favorite villains in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and in any other anime or media at all. And that's probably because of his unique power and the way that Araki writes him. And I think Araki is a genius with all of his antagonists and protagonists. All of the characters in Araki's works uh, are very good. I like Cars too, and even the minor villains such as Akira and Chocolata and Seko. I think that he did a great job of writing Dio and kind of continuing the story between the Brandos and the Joe Stars, even when Dio isn't present. Something like Part 5, for example, where the main Jojo is a Brando, but not really a Brando. He's Dio's son, you know, but he's a Giovanna instead of a Brando. And there really isn't a main Joe star present. It's kind of between, you know, Polnareff and, and Diavolo. So, yeah, I just think that's kind of cool how he can make the Brando's relationship to the Joe stars in every part, really, even in part two. And yeah, I think that's a really cool thing of how he ties everything together with the Joe stars. So I think that it would be pretty cool to look into what it would be like to have Dio as the main antagonist instead of Yoshikage Kira in part four. Now, obviously, this means that the plot is going to have to change both of part 3, which is my favorite part, and part 4, which is another one of my favorite parts. So the first thing that's going to change is I don't think it would be a mystery anymore because if one thing's going to change, it's the way that the part 3 ends. So if part 3 ends off with, you know, Dio dying as he does in part 3, then how would we end it off to get him as main villain in part 4? So there's a couple things that could happen here. The first one is he could get resurrected by Poochie or something, by an unknown method, something like the Over Heaven plan, but kind of more, but you know, different thing. And you know how like uh, they just announce Over Heaven in part six as like the kind of gimmick. So that's one option that could happen. Another thing that could happen is Dio survives in the same way as he did in parts one to three, where he kind of, it looks like he dies, but he doesn't die. So let's say, I don't know, Jotaro instead of Punching him with the time stop punches him straight into the ocean, and then that way, you know, his body could go into, I don't know, another coffin or something like that. Another option here, and this is my least favorite option, is Jotaro dies. If Jotaro dies in this part, then he won't be in part 4, which would make it a lot harder for Josuke and the gang to defeat Dio. And the other option that we have here is Dio escapes somehow. He just nigun dios away from Jotaro and friends. So, all these options are pretty great except for the Jotaro dies one and Nigun Dayo, but I think that Dio surviving in the same way as part 1 to 3 would probably be the best option here. It would be repetitive, but at the same time, it would kind of be unique. Maybe something different than a coffin, maybe something, you know, a little less cinematic. But anyways, I'm not going to go into the specifics of how he gets here. Let's just say he gets here without anything changing from part 3. So the other thing that would change in part 4 is there'd be a lot a lot more enemies. Obviously, Whole Horror survived, I'm pretty sure, at the end of part 3, and so did a lot of the other people that Dio hired. Now, if they came back to Dio, even you know that Whole Horse doesn't really obey Dio anymore, if they come back to Dio and they kind of help him out again, then that would be uh, more enemies for Joe Skin Gang to deal with, which would extend their runtime to probably about the same as part three. And another thing that would probably change is um, possibly, you know, how the whole um, murder mystery happens with Rohan and, you know, finding out the photos and between all the mystery uh, behind Kira and who the killer is, that would kind of all just go away because everybody knows it's Dio. Uh, Jotaro obviously may he may not know that Dio returns but you know they always find out that Dio comes back or that Dio is present in some way because uh, Joseph gained the stand Hermit Purple not only because he was a Hamon user but probably also because of the whole Dio Joestar bloodline thing. Now what would Dio's goal be in this situation? It would kind of be the same reason or motive that he would have that he did in part 3. So who would win in this situation? Now, obviously, this is subjective. Because Pucci would have to come back too, you know, because Dio has new allies as well. He would definitely have Pucci. He might have some other people that, you know, like, 
Maybe if he got resurrected, like I said before, maybe Enyaba comes back too. Maybe some other people come back and they just, you know, kind of help him out. But I think Poochie would have a huge role in this as it would work a lot like part six with stealing stands, but it would also work a lot like uh, killing Joestar's thing, right? So I think who would win is probably the Mario gang because as you know, it was a 1v, I believe six or seven in the Mori in the final Mario battle. And that was kind of a lot of people for him to deal with, uh, Kira by himself. Obviously Kira has three stand abilities too, which is a lot. But, you know, now um, it's Dio with not only Time Stop, but then he has Poochie with the stand, and possibly even the Over Heaven plan comes to work. Now, I don't know if the Over Heaven plan would still be in effect in this part, because that would make it really unfair for the rest of the gang. Now, if you didn't know, in the JoJo Eyes of Heaven game, Dio gets the World Over Heaven. And basically, this allows him to rewrite anything he wants. He can do pretty much anything he wants, kind of like, um, if you know how Light Yagami has the Death Note, he can pretty much do that except with literally anything. It's not just, oh, connected to deaths, it's he could change people's sand powers pretty much. So I think that would be a little too overpowered and something like either White Snake over Heaven or maybe uh, Jotaro also gets the over Heaven plan and gets Star Platinum over Heaven or maybe we get Crazy Diamond over Heaven, something like that. And I know that sounds like a huge fan fiction, but something like that would have to happen if Dio had the Overheaven plan too. Now, another thing that would happen is Polnareff comes back a part early. Because, obviously, uh, in part 5, he helps jo uh, Jojo, you know, Geo Geo in the gang. He helps them find out uh, about Diavolo and all of that. Which I just realized is kind of a mystery too. Not as bad as Kira though. So yeah, Polnareff would come back a part early, maybe still be a Russian hacker, but he could possibly, you know, help out the gang, maybe even get the Requiem stand, or the Requiem arrow, a part early. Now, another thing that would that we have to take in effect here is Jotaro and Dio both would have longer time stop effects. Now, obviously Dio would have an insanely long time stop effect because he he's probably been training since part 3, right? And that's a good... 10 to 15 year gap I believe and if Jotaro keeps training his time stop too instead of becoming a marine biologist he could possibly also get a longer time stop too so I think they would both have around a minute and based on anime time that would probably be around five minutes I would say of actual screen because as you know in part three when Dio gets out the road roller it's about a minute and it, in reality it's around eight seconds I think so yeah, I think they both have around a minute of time to stop, and that would be a little overpowered. And so, obviously on the Joestar side, we have Josuke, right? I'm going to talk a little bit about powers now. So Josuke has Crazy Diamond, so he can heal anybody except himself, right? And uh, Dio doesn't really have a power like that. Obviously he has the vampire thing, but... Morio is sunny a lot as we see and you know it obviously gets dark it's just like any other part of the world but it being a lot sunnier around Dio can't be out as often so Dio is at a disadvantage here unless he has the over heaven plan which Josuke can heal his team Okiyasu can close the distance if he gets a big brain instead of being a little retard and Koichi has Echoes Act 3 which I don't really know what would do to Dio I would really like to see uh, what that would do to Dio because obviously Dio is this uh, Saikoni vampire, but if Koichi uses Echo Zack 3, then would that do anything to Dio or Pucci or would it just, you know, have zero effect on him? I think that'd be really interesting. Now, obviously on the Dio side, they also would have uh, somewhat of an advantage, but not as much as Jotaro with uh, Time Stop and White Snake, and maybe even possibly if White Snake steals something like Crazy Diamond, then Dio automatically gets the advantage. Now, if Poochie steals something like the Hand, he would also have a huge advantage, and I think that would be another great thing that would happen is Okiyasu actually dies. So what would happen is, obviously, Okiyasu and Josuke meet up and everything, and around the episode of where they get the paper stand, I can't remember what it's called, but that one, um, around that episode, Pucci or Dio would kind of, I don't know, in a way attract Okiyasu and just kind of get his stand, 
and around that part they would have an advantage obviously with knowing how the stand works because they would have had an encounter before and just you know instead of being an absolute retard with it they could actually use it to do something useful and so that uh, and as Okiasu's brother says the hand is an incredibly scary stand and I would be definitely terrified to see that in real life so I would definitely um see Dio and gang winning if Pucci got that stand but I don't know if he would now that's totally up to Araki or something to decide if he ever wants to do something like that or the fanfic writers is free material for you guys so <laughs> anyways uh so I think overall it really depends on how you interpret the story but I think the Joe stars would probably end up winning this one and that's just because Jotaro has time stop, so does Dio, so they kind of equal each other out. And if no stands get stolen, then we have Okiyasu, you have Echo Zack 3, you know, you have the hand, uh, Crazy Diamond, all that kind of stuff, right? And so overall, I just think that the Joe Stars would win because in the end, part 4 was kind of a more lighthearted part, anyways. And I think that if Dio and Pucci kind of would retreat or something, or maybe one of them dies, maybe this time it was Pucci, and Dio just uses the world for some other reason, then I think that would be a great ending. Now, I don't know, let me know what you guys think you would like, uh, what you would like for an ending in the comments below, because I have no idea what kind of ending I would like to see. Obviously, I think JoJo's is great as it is, I just think it'd be very interesting to see something like a light novel, or just even a fanfic, honestly. Uh, just seeing how this would work out. And yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We are almost at 40 subscribers, which would be insane if we could hit by next week. That would be really cool. So, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.